Our next guest is a member of the so-called Gang of Six. It had a plan aimed at cutting almost $4 trillion, endorsed at one point by the president. Joining us now, Senator Mike Crapo, Republican of Idaho. Senator, good to have you with us. Good to be with you again, Lou. Uh, you just heard Jenny Beth Martin, I presume. Uh, she said now the work begins effectively, uh, having reached resolution today. Your thoughts? Well, I agree with her, and frankly, I have to agree with you in uh, your comment that the Tea Party really has been central in helping the, the sea change that we see in Washington. Although there are a lot of reasons, and you went over them very well in your introduction, uh, to look for more than what came in today's vote, uh, I think we should note that a, a, a paradigm shift has occurred in Washington. Instead of fighting over how much to raise taxes and how much to raise spending, we're fighting over how much to control spending, and we are looking now to a pro-growth tax reform package that can really help to build our economy. Pro-growth. I want to congratulate you, Senator. You are the first uh, senator uh, to, on this broadcast, talk about focusing on growth in the economy. And, uh, Senator, that's a big deal to me because in, therein, in my judgment at least, lies uh, the future for this country. Uh, what, what is the next step in pursuing such a, an agenda? Well, it could be the committee that is created by this legislation. That will be the next focus, obviously. Uh, that committee can look at a lot of different issues, uh, but I think that some of the most important things for that committee to look at, in addition to the additional savings that they are finding, is pro-growth. And, and I think we find that in reforming the tax code. And remember, I mean by that cutting taxes, flattening out the tax base, and then growing our economy and generating phenomenally powerful potential revenue to deal with our debt by growing and increasing us, making a stronger economy. A, a stronger economy, and, and, and as, as we discussed that pro-growth agenda that you talked about, growing the economy, creating, returning prosperity. Uh, I, I'm wondering about language here. Uh, you know, the president had a code. Uh, he used the word balance to mean tax hikes uh, as well as spending cuts. Uh, I'm wondering if there isn't time that uh, you Republicans tried out a, a little code. And instead of growth, because there are limitations to what can be done, uh, but it would be more, uh, if you will, ecumenical to talk about prosperity for this country, a, a pro-prosperity agenda. Uh, I'd, I'd love to hear that expression. I think it's one that would resonate. What do you think, Senator? Well, Lou, you're absolutely right. The real issue still is jobs and the unemployment that we face because it's our failure to have the kind of policy in the United States that generates prosperity that is resulting in the sluggish economy. We need to have reform of our tax code that will stimulate investment and capital growth. We need to have an energy policy that will help us to develop our own independence and our own resources. We need to have the kind of reform of, and frankly, control of the growing regulatory burdens that are in place that will help to unshackle American business. And the list goes on. And those are the kinds of things that really will help us to develop the kind of prosperity that not only helps improve the lives of every American and every family in America, but also generate phenomenally increasing revenues to the United States Treasury through the growth of the economy that help to be the revenue part of the entire debt solution. Senator, it's not often I can do this, but let me just say to all that you have said, hallelujah. Thanks for well, being thank with you. us, Senator. Senator it's Mike Craig. It's Craper. an honor to be with you. Appreciate you being here.